The Volkswagen CC is in a unique class among coupe-like four-doors. In fact, the only vehicles that can come close to it in its design language are more expensive cars like the Mercedes-Benz CLS, BMW 6 Series, and Audi A7. But what makes the CC very unique is that it doesn't have the price tag of one of those. So can the CC accomplish the goal of having a luxury car experience without having the badge? Well, let's go ahead and find out and check out this 2015 Volkswagen CC. Now as far as styling goes on the CC, I'm quite a big fan of it with its coupe-like design. And it looks really good when you get to the rear. It has a really sleek profile and presence. And I love the LED daytime running lights you get on the vehicle. They look really good on the road. But overall, really big fan of the styling. It's not your traditional four-door here. Now here goes the key fob for the CC. Decent high quality looking key fob. You have your lock to release your trunk and then your unlock and then your panic button right here. Now essentially the CC is unchanged for the 2015 model year but this one technically is a 14 but I'm calling it a 2015. And we have the sport trim of the CC which is the base trim but it does come pretty well equipped I have to say. Now it is a Eiling gray metallic exterior color with a full on black leatherette interior. You have your power driver's seat with your power recline and then power lumbar too. Now stepping inside, I will say that the step-in height is fairly low. It's a little bit lower than your traditional four-door sedan. But you're greeted with a very attractive interior. Now you do have push-button start, but you have to insert the key first, and then you have to put your foot on the brake, and then you hit the button start. Now what you're hearing there is a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder turbo which is the base powertrain for the CC. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission you have the 6 speed DSG automatic transmission here. You also do have manual shiftability, Tiptronic. Putting the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and you also do have trajectory. And you do have an electronic parking brake as well. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. Automatic driver's side window. I'm going to go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. You also do have these fairly conservative looking but pretty handsome at the same time too, 17 inch alloy wheels. By Xenon headlights with your LED daytime running lights, you also do have halogen fogs too. Love the LEDs. Very aggressive and mean looking front end here. Now powering the CC here we have a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder turbo producing 200 horsepower at 5100 RPM and 207 pound-feet of torque at 1700 RPM. It is front-wheel drive while a 6-speed manual is standard and this 6-speed automatic is optional. It does have EPA estimates of 21 city, 32 highway running on premium unleaded fuel and all-wheel drive is optional as well as a 3.6 liter V6. Now this 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder does provide decent acceleration as well as respectable fuel economy too. And there's really no reason to upgrade to the larger V6 unless if you want the sound of course. 
it doesn't really have that much better acceleration to be honest but however if you do want all-wheel drive the v6 is the only way to go in the cc Now there really is no main direct competitors for the CC, but some vehicles you may want to consider include the Acura TLX or the Hyundai Azera. Now coming to the rear you have these really stylish and good looking LED tail lamps with LED turn signal indicators. You also do have a rear window defroster and a shark fin antenna on the top there. Now EPA estimates, like I said, are 22 city, 31 highway. Total vehicle price for this particular one is $34,730. All of your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, and your power door locks. Nice soft touch armrest too. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Now one thing the CC certainly has for sure is a very well built interior. You have nice soft touch materials up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and on the armrest. And the padding doesn't just stop there, it goes all the way down to here. And then you also do have a nice soft touch padded dashboard too. Everything fits well together inside of here and the plastics have a very high quality feel to them too. And this part is hard touch, but the graining on the plastic is very high quality. And then the build quality is excellent. Not many panel gaps inside of here. So overall, build quality and materials are excellent inside of the CC here. Very well built interior. Now coming to the steering wheel design, I'm not a really huge fan of it. I just think it's a little bare bones looking, especially for a top level car in Volkswagen's lineup. This would be much better on say like a Jetta or a Golf but it does everything well it's just a little dated looking and bare bones looking too not the most stylish design here you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls Bluetooth phone controls too and then this controls your center screen right there which I'll get to a little later in the video you also do have a manually tilting and telescoping steering wheel I found the range of adjustment to be okay and then coming down here you have your traction control off button. I love this nice trim that goes throughout the whole entire car. I believe it's aluminum and it looks really nice. It certainly gives the interior much more contrast instead of a Spartan feel. You also do have cup holders down here. Center console lid is also nice and soft touch too. And then the center console is lined with felt decent amount of center console storage. You also do have your auto dimming rear view mirror, SOS safety connect, sunglass container, and your interior illumination lighting. Headliner is also nice and plush as well. Now coming down here you also do have a little lid that opens up and reveals a 12 volt power outlet. As you can see. And then coming to the AC controls, I love how simple and clean it looks, however I wish the buttons were a little bigger, they are a little small I have to say. But you do have dual zone automatic climate control, your temperatures are right here. And then your fan speeds, different zones, recycling, and then your heated seats. But overall the technology in the cabin electronics are pretty dated at this point. I would love to see their more upgraded head unit as standard equipment in the CC. Now on another note, I love the analog clock. It does give it a pretty classy feeling inside of the CC here. Coming to the gauges, really do love the gauges. Crisp, clear, and bold font. 
Coming to that little center screen right there, basically it shows you your vehicle information just like any other vehicle. Your average speed as well as your exterior temperature readout and your trip odometer. Digital clock is also up there as well and your direction of travel and what gear you're in too. Also shows you your fuel range, your average fuel consumption, your travel time, speed warning too, and you have a digital speedometer which is pretty useful. Coming to visibility, visibility isn't all that great thanks to the sloping roof line back there it is very very compromised you have a pretty big blind spot as far as driver's seat comfort goes and the seating comfort the seats are fairly comfortable I have to say and they do offer a adequate amount of support thigh support is also excellent I would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip and the headrests are decently plush too now as far as driving dynamics go of the CC road imperfections are certainly soaked up however the ride quality is a little on the firm side and as far as handling goes it offers a decent amount of responsiveness and it certainly doesn't feel numb at all and this vehicle certainly is willing to go around a twisty canyon road and certainly will provide a decent amount of feedback to the driver power from the 2 liter turbo that you will find in most CC's certainly is adequate and does get up to highway speeds pretty good. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Love how the trunk opens all the way up. Now you will find the trunk to be a little on the small side here. But at least you do have a first aid kit. And the rear seats do fold down. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Still nice soft touch on upper door panel, mid door panel, and armrest. Now, when you sit back inside of here in the CC, thanks to that sleek styling and that sloping roof line, headroom is a little bit limited back here. Legroom isn't also all that impressive either, but if you're looking for a lots of legroom, you certainly want to check out Volkswagen's Passat. has the best in class in terms of rear seat legroom. You have dual map pockets back here and a 12 volt power outlet. Rear center armrest with cup holders as well. And storage too. Very nice little luxury amenity to have there. And you also do have map lights. Your glove box compartment, mine with felt. So with its sleek and stylish exterior design, attractive and well-built interior, decent driving dynamics, and ample standard features list, the Volkswagen CC is a compelling choice for one who is looking for a stylish four-door without the luxury car badge. But for those who are more tech savvy and are looking for the best practicality out of a four-door, you may be a little disappointed. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.